I was born in Helena, Arkansas, small town in Arkansas. Still reside there today? No, nah, I stay in Little Rock, Arkansas. And what age were you when you made that move? What's Little Rock? Yeah. Well, um, in uh, 2009, my cousin got killed in Helena. So uh, I moved to Conway with my mom. I was staying in Helena with my daddy in 2009. And he got killed um, July 5th, 2009. Moved to Conway, started going to school in Conway, Arkansas. And Conway is part of Little Rock? Um, it's like, like, you know how, um, I say, uh, what, what's it called, like, throw you? Yeah. It's like that, similar like that. It's still, like, right there, like, 20 minutes from Little Rock. So you're comparing, for somebody watching that's not familiar, Lithonia is very close to Atlanta. Right, exactly. So Conway's very close to Little Rock. Exactly. And this was, the, the cousin that passed away, this was on your mother's side or father's side? My dad's side. And when that happened, was that the most uh, impactful death in your life at this point? Most definitely, shit. That was my. That was somebody I looked up to and wanted to be just like. So you know, yeah, that took a toll on me. How'd you hear about it? Shit, I was. I was like right there when the shit jumped out with. Boom, he. They hopped in the car, watched him drive out, pulled down the street. She hear gunfire. Like a drive-by shooting type of thing? Uh, yeah, they had a full-fledged shootout. It was a big shootout. It, it went down. Shit. Was there any chance you might have been in that same car? I was too young then. They wouldn't let me go on it. <laughs> but nah. So nah. And uh, when it happened, uh, your cousin, he passed away instantly? Oh, uh, he passed away at the hospital. He got uh, took to the hospital and he passed away there. And uh, I forgot what age you said this was. You were. Right? I was 15, 2009. 15 years yeah, I was 15. This is the first time you've ever seen something like that, that close? Nah, hell yeah, nah. I seen my, when I was like nine, I seen my uh, cousin get killed by his sister. She cut him up and shit like that. It was crazy. I done seen some shit. <laughs> so death was not new for you? Nah. But this was still your cousin that was right. the most impactful? For the, sure. The, the cousin at 15? Right, for sure. What were you thinking while all this was going on? You see this happen, or you're right there. You go to the hospital, he's pronounced dead, what goes through your head during all this? Shit, retaliation on top. You attend the funeral? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, most definitely. Since the passing away of your cousin, how did you cope with that? Mm. How'd you deal with that? I deal with it. I mean, I just want to go harder. You know what I'm saying? Just want to go harder. Everything I did. Were you already doing music at the time? Now you know. I mean, you know how you a kid and you really just like sometimes you know y'all get in the car, just freestyle over a little beat and stuff like that. But like nothing serious at all. Nothing serious at all. Was your cousin? Was he doing music at the time at all or no? Nah, but he used to always make make us rap though. You know what I'm saying? We get up in the car and shit, we be rapping over be like, go hit that shit. We get get the rapping and shit. This is not the um the first time you dealt with death, but this was the most impactful, like we've said already. Right. When this happened, after this happened, did you ever seek counseling, therapy, or the help of a mental health professional to deal with something like that? Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, I don't know too many <laughs> black people do counseling and nothing like that, though. <laughs> At this point in your life, you're, you're much older now. Right. Um, do you feel like you need it? Nah. I got a strong mind. I don't think I need no counseling and nothing like that, ever. Someone watching this might say, don't knock until you try it. Yeah, I don't think it's for me.